Roswell's up back, everybody. Everyone say hi to Roswell. Whoa. What? What was that? I almost He's jumped responding out of my... to everyone saying hi to, the, <laughs> hi to him. <laughs> Am I having a schizophrenic break? <laughs> Am I okay? I almost jumped out of my fur as I turned to see Roswell standing there off the side. Halfway through his stride, it looked like. Roswell, you're alive. Yep, still alive. What happened? Where were you? I went to the woods with Dominic. You know that. No, that much I know, but what happened after that? We were all worried. Um, that's a loaded question. What? <laughs> uh, still, D Dean went in to look for you, and then Tyson did, then I did. But you all made it back? Or... Well... Yeah, but not after getting grabbed by Dominic and being tied up. How much did I miss? Meaning? I fell unconscious out in the woods. Wow, it's almost as if this idea was stupid and bad. Yeah, the thing that we knew would happen happened. I can't... <sighs> why did they think he could get around on his own? And? Why did they give him... Why? I still don't get why Dean couldn't have gone. Like, I just don't get it. It's purely because they're stubbornly sticking to the idea that they need a sacrifice and Roswell's the sacrifice because of previous reasons, even though the idea of following them to Memphis' HQ and being shown the exit supposedly is just completely unrelated to the idea of an actual sacrifice because he yeah. explicitly needs to make it back for the plan to work. Yes, exactly. Well, that's, but, what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. But they, like, just they just stuck to that. Roswell's sacrifice <laughs> conditions are... If we're running for a bear, leave me behind. It can eat me while you all get away. Not, hey, if we need a land surveyor to go figure out our route, I'll be your scout unless I die while I'm scouting and then leave you all stranded in the woods. This is this is like if if, you know, we were all stuck in the woods and I fell into a ravine and broke my leg and couldn't walk. Then I was like, Heath, Andrew. You stay here. I got this. I'm the one to be sacrificed. It's like, what? That doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? And I was unconscious. When I woke up, I started... Oh, wait, hold on. His response was... Go, go back one line, please. And? <laughs> I fell out unconscious out in the woods. And? And... I was unconscious. And I was unconscious. Oh, okay. I, I see. I was like, what's what's he trying to say here? He's already said that line. Yeah. And I was unconscious. When I woke up, I started to make my way back, but, but it was dark. Anything that happened between when I passed out and now I have no idea about. What happened to Benson? What do you mean? Dominic had him. I stared Roswell down, unsure. Did we go find the others and tell them what happened or? And why were you outside? Waiting for Memphis, Jack, and Dominic to show up. Because? Because when I was grabbed out in the woods, they tied me up and dumped me in some room in the cabin, but we escaped. Apparently one of my friends did something that made them mad, but Benson also wasn't there, so... Ah, right. So what did you do? I don't want to dodge the question, but I think it's better we assemble everyone for this. Or at least more than just us. I'm not sure if I'm more annoyed that they've all stubbornly stuck to the idea that it had to be Roswell when they said, quote unquote, a friend and not just someone that's on their side like Benson. And I'm, or the fact that they I'm not sure if I'm more annoyed about that or the fact that they were right and it was Roswell. He did do something, apparently. Why? Everyone else is resting just in case we need to run for it. In case... We might not need to, though. We'd be taking a gamble. What makes you say that? I still know the way off the mountain. Dom upheld his part of the deal at the very least. Great. Where is it? Let's head inside and tell everyone at once. Roswell walked past me in the foyer despite my protest, looking around for the others. Roswell, wait! Me saying his name must have been enough, as I could already hear people starting to resurface. The moment Haas and Dean stepped out of the side room, 
They saw Roswell and, and came to get and, and came right over. Haas didn't look too impressed, and Dean looked wary. Well, you have some explaining to do, Roswell. I do. I don't know. Do you? What? Why are they acting surprised? Why are An they acting surprised? An explanation would be good to know what took you so long, especially given Dave and Tyson went in. You also took too long. <laughs> I had it handled. No one had to come looking for me. I was just sleepy. Okay, did you pass out or were you sleepy? <laughs> sleepy, that's all. That's why I couldn't find you? I'm calling bullshit on that, but right now it doesn't matter. How'd the exchange go? I'd also like to know what happened to Benson. Pretty sure I saw him out in the woods. You did? I was telling Dave earlier. I thought I saw him, but it might not have been him. Disappeared real quick, though, and I couldn't track him. Well, it's like this. Dominic led me into the woods. Got a fair way in before Benson started waking up. Wasn't he drugged? I guess the dosage wasn't high enough. Hadn't it been, like, literally a day since he'd been drugged? Wasn't it, like, the night before they I don't know how, it? I don't know how much they drugged him. I don't know. <laughs> he's been they asleep for two days, They gave him one melatonin, apparently. and they're shocked that he's waking up. <gasps> I guess the dosage wasn't high enough, but I noticed and then made a move to try and get Benson free by attacking Dominic. What? What? What are that, you talking about? That was about? your rational <laughs> response? Uh. Huh. I think the characters in this are... Get yeah, Sure, game. Let the Make-A-Wish kid attack the brick shit house. This is a great idea. I, I, uh, and how did you manage to take him down? Would you believe scalpel to the back of the knee? What? He had a scalpel? <laughs> I, he had a scalpel? That's also just upsetting. I just uh, don't care. How are you ready for that kind of move? What the fuck? No. What would you even need to take down a bear? I... He said... <laughs> Let alone leave him basically unscratched. He seemed fine when Tyson and I ran into him. Alright. I cut him to a deal. What kind of deal? We already had one. Benson waking up was going to be a problem and end up in a fight was going to be a problem and end up in a fight. Dominic wanted an easy job and if left unchecked, Benson could absolutely cause Memphis some problems or put Dominic in immediate danger. He wasn't supposed to be unchecked. <laughs> Is that a good thing for us? I isn't that a good thing for us? Sounds like a good idea. I pitched it like this. It was me and him out in the woods. But because Benson was waking up, his options were to cut me a deal or try and figure out a way to keep Benson restrained enough to hand him over to Memphis. Here's an idea. He pushes Benson onto the ground when he's currently unconscious and somewhat restrained and then chokes him out again and then just carries him to Memphis, who, as far as we know isn't that far away because Dave made it there just fine pretty quickly and Dom snuck up on him which means Dom was not that far away and was able to bring him to Memphis's location in the time that he was passed out from just, being choked out there's just so many messy deals they never communicated in the first place back and forth they're just like what were they planning on like were they hoping Nothing. were they hoping Benson would just stay unconscious the entire rest of the story? I think so. I don't really understand the conflict there. And they yeah. didn't th they didn't at all think to like restrain him in the first place. Yeah. I don't <laughs> I I don't get it. But he could have killed him. It's just kind of the sticking point to our deal. He could kill Benson, but was it worth having to explain that to Memphis why it was just me there? I don't I still don't understand like the hostage math here. Like why no. does the hostage math matter? It's why I'm not, does it, I'm not like, clear on what their motivation is for half of it. 
when they're like they'll have benson so it will be great it's like why why they do they benson need benson now now we're safe because they have benson or something somehow benson. Just, i don't get it i don't understand why <laughs> You know but that also this isn't making any sense, right? we're only taking right? Benson after 48 hours for some reason. <laughs> no, this uh, this entire act of the game is unhinged. Like I don't, I don't understand what anyone's doing and why. Yeah. Let me put it this way, then. I lied to Dominic's face and made another deal for Benson's life. That allowed Benson to go free, but I had to go with Dominic to meet Memphis instead. What? And okay, so they undid the deal for some reason, and now Benson's a wild card and is going to try to kill them, which so is what let, we explicitly are trying to avoid. They let Benson it was free, the whole bargaining thing, and he became the new hostage, and then I guess escaped. I assume they must have left Benson while he was still mostly unconscious, because he was vaguely somehow becoming conscious, but in a way that they could use his wiggle room somehow and they must have abandoned him in the woods because if Benson woke up and was like there and in, in, in any way witnessed this deal and was abandoned wouldn't he just track Dominic and probably save Roswell <laughs> like he wouldn't go through with it so he had to have been left while unconscious but in this fr this vague weird state of like oh god he's becoming conscious we better make a deal now yeah and then the he's just running around me. like a wild man <laughs> And this is maybe me having made a narrative leap to fill in the fucking colossal gaps in this story somehow, despite the fact that it's so overwritten. Uh, the My assumption was Benson being the hostage, or at least being out of commission, was what justified the rest of them leaving because the rest of them are just dumb idiot kids who pose no threat. Yes. So they leave... And there's no concern. And you know what? If Memphis wants to kill him down the line, great. They're just going to go back to wherever the hell they live and get gunned down by the Dragon Mafia. Literally zero problem. So the I idea that Dominic would be like... I think this was technically not said by Dom, but it was said by Thanatos because every timeline where Memphis is around, he complicates things with Dom and start, and gets things get violent and things go bad. Yeah. So I don't think it was Dom's explicit plan to get rid of Benson, but it's obviously sounds good to him. But yeah, it's very yes. strange that he would just let Benson free. Yes. It, it, the, I, I guess all of this relies very heavily on the idea that Dominic is definitely lying about his own morality and definitely just actually doesn't want to kill people. Because yeah. between that and everything else that's happened, all the times he keeps capturing people and also the what we saw in the dream, like... The, this whole thing only slightly works if Dominic's actively trying to avoid all bloodshed and not because it's easy, because it's definitely not easier. That was that was odd in its own way when Orlando was like explaining what a cleaner is, and I'm like, I don't think anything about Dominic's job is made easier by keeping people alive and hostages and trying to maintain the situation like that instead of just killing people. Like I'm pretty sure everything about his job gets much easier actually that way. I just don't get it. I just cuz like just the the mat, the law the the logic here. I don't understand. This isn't even I'm not even trying to game it out and be like here's the way oop, like here here's the way that we deal with it. like this is how a sane person would do it. I don't even care about that at this point. This is this setting is so far out of reality at this point that trying to hold this together to a, a standard of intelligence yeah, is just so absurd. Instead, just we already parsing, know everyone's stupid. Instead, it's just it's a struggle to parse their own motivations and stated reasons for most things. As yes, exactly. Sense. So it's like, okay, if you could have just made a deal to go with them the whole time, Roswell, why not just do that? Because you made it out just fine. Like, like you, so you yeah. are the hostage, but you're also not the hostage. Because they're just you're that the hostage, bad at but you this, came apparently. Here. So you just. <laughs> made it out and then you after made... leaving two hostages unattended they then also let tyson and, and dave escape exactly like exactly they, did, they didn't learn and or improve now we have all the cards way. <laughs> now we have all the cards because we know where the exit is there's no hostage benson is free so we're morally we're morally in totally the in the clear no one actually has to feel bad anymore and we can just leave we yeah. can just go 
they're going to be on our way their way here so okay bye like whatever just leave the primary risk is that the, is the likelihood of them sending somebody to the exit now that they know that we know where it is and then and then trapping it or so on especially since That's like fine. every character every villain in this game is omnipotent they're not omniscient they're stupid they're deeply stupid people and useless but apparently every single one of them seems to individually be capable of wiping out every character in this game except Benson maybe but sometimes also Benson up to including Jack and they just killing don't. Benson with a knife Dominic uh, could come in and I'm murder for the game. every single one yeah. of us at once and it would not that, be that's an what issue. the game Jack has told us that's that's the that's the the crux of this narrative even making sense supposedly is that they're supposedly that lethal that they can take out seven people because otherwise if they can't or sometimes eight people because if they can't do that, then fucking just fight him. <laughs> it's just a guy. But I can't apply it. It's just a guy logic. I'm just really waiting for this game to at some point explain what the fuck the villains have been doing. Because I have zero actual uh, justification for the idea that for why it's been a month. Like why yeah. at the very least why I don't know. like after like they, at the very least they were here when Jack was here. So they've been here for at They're least 12 days. probably playing cards. That's, like, what, what it, that's what bad guys do in TV shows when I, they're waiting I just, around. Yeah, I, I, just, I don't understand what their plan is, why they're waiting, what their goal is there. And like, I can't even begin to create a justification for why they're behaving this way. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's going to be like a magic sl answer like, oh, I, this is the, it's the sacred day on which the time machine has to be blah, blah, blah for my plan. So we're going to strike on that day because... They will just attack earlier in some timelines. Uh, there's, there's no sensicalness to it. Every individual person seems to act with individual agency, as if they're not part of an organization that has a plan or goals. Like how Jack will just walk in and just kill Benson and leave in, at some point. And is is Jack just so unhinged and and basically not a character because he's the Joker that he did he plant the bombs and blow up the mansion, like? Did he? Because he's the bomb guy. He blew up the road. So did he blow up the mansion? I don't think Memphis wanted him to do that. So is he just doing random? If he things? did, he's a hero, frankly. In and some ways, in some ways, him. yes. But that means we have even less sensical uh, motivation for any of the villains' behaviors or why they're waiting or what they're doing. Like, if Jack will just go in and kill everybody at a moment's notice, and it's not to the benefit of any of the people that actually he's working for, then why hasn't he? Why isn't he attacking us, like, f just for fun throughout this whole thing and causing, like, various bad ends that have to be fixed by passwords that would make the password actually a part of the game again and so on? Like, I just, I don't understand what's happening, and it's been so long that I'm like, please start justifying this at some point in game, because you can't, it's, it's been too long. It's, it, it, the, it, I just can't really going with, keep going with off-camera guys forever. I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break. I'm losing my mind. Memphis, let me go. Yeah, because you probably thought you were going to keel over and die on your way back. It'd just let you die in the woods. You're lying. He just let you go? It's so funny to me that sometimes Haas will be like lying and then everyone's like, wow, Haas, thank God you're here to discern the truth for us. A very helpful thing. We will believe you implicitly. And then other times he'll be like, you're lying and then just no one reacts and the conversation just keeps going like you just no one no one considers yeah. it don't get it what does this sentence mean i gave him i gave him what he wanted i gave him what he wanted told me the way off the mountain and i made my way back it should be and he told me the way off the mountain and i made yeah. my way back or but just I'll, he told me the way off the mountain i understand that part i just don't know what i gave him what he wanted means yeah, no, we have no idea. What did he want? The Probably information about was, the vault was or Oswin or something. Hostage, yeah. Uh, presumably, they want a way to get to one of the Hammonds because that's why Dom showed up. He was like, "Gonna speak to a Hammond. Only gonna speak to a Hammond. Only want to speak to a yeah. Hammond." Uh, so probably that. But uh, which again furthers this idea that Roswell is probably a Hammond. We went a really long time thinking Roswell's last name was Hammond. Apparently, it's like Sinclair or something pretty sure he's a Hammond pretty sure we've already established this would be extremely yeah. shocked if he was not um at least he's in the family and, explicitly yeah because we somehow, had the, the family he took his mother's last name thingy. or something 
Yeah. Which is weird because I don't think that that's his mom either. I think he's the third child's Yeah, son. I think he's the brother's son. Um, anyway. Then at some point I fell unconscious before I could meet back up with Benson and made my way back here. Admittedly, if, my, bro- my, if my brother killed here. dozens of children, I'd probably change my last name too. That yeah. sounds plausible, but he was lying? Well, not exactly. What he said was the truth as he believes it, but I don't believe it for a second. Does that mean Benson is out there in the woods still? Uh, Honestly, no idea. Maybe. He could have gotten off the mountain by now, but I only found the way off after we'd split up. Is it possible he fell unconscious like you did? No idea. Those seem unrelated. You're the one that has an illness. Wait, so just so I understand it, you left yesterday, spent all day unconscious, then woke up and wandered here. Nothing happened in between? It's bad when you put it that way, but yeah, pretty much. It's not that bad. You're dying. It checks out, but this is absurd. Wow. Did everyone forget he's dying? Probably. We had a whole meeting about it. I hate these characters. (laughs) I'm sorry to change topics like this, but is it fine if I go get something to eat? I've kind of not eaten for a whole day. Er, just find the dragon on the floor when you do. Let me just say things. He, it's because he knocked out Orlando. I'm sorry. Why is Orlando on the floor? I knocked him out, obviously. But why? But also, thanks for not knocking me out this time? Yeah, if things are this bad, why did you take Orlando out? I'm hoping to set Orlando up for something, some heroic moment that might pay off later. And if it doesn't... Well, I was being annoying, so whatever. That's his whole character. If that's the only thing you mm-hmm. needed, you could have knocked him out 25 <laughs> days ago. Take out Roswell. Do it. Take the shot. Roswell scooped Thanos up and lightly slapped him on the head. Or maybe it was an aggressive pat. I couldn't tell. This makes gives me indigestion. <laughs> Aside from being unconscious, is he at least unhurt? Like you made sure that he wasn't gonna fall in a weird way? It's famously safe to fall in a kitchen. You can just fall on the floor. You can just fall right there on the floor. I mean... <laughs> just fall. Just go for it. No. <laughs> just do it. When you're in a kitchen, just fall on the floor. Don't do that. Definitely don't do it. And I also don't do it when it's wet outside of the pool. Other fun things you can try that we we objectively, no. sincerely are no. endorsing. Trip in the no. shower. Try to run on ice. This is a fan-based parody. Please support the official maybe, release. Maybe slip on a toy truck at the top of the stairs and take a tumble. You'll be all right. <laughs> the sound effects makes it a parody, so we're not liable to anything that comes out of Toaster's mouth. That wasn't really my priority. Well, time to go make sure my friend is all right. Everyone's (laughs) your friend, Haas. Everyone's Haas's best friend. Haas threw his hand up, heading towards the kitchen, shaking his head. Fair warning, he's ass up in the doorway, so you might need to go the other way. You didn't think to time it so he'd be in a more convenient place? 
Why would that matter? Someone looped me in. I was getting bored trying to get some sleep with everyone talking out here. Let's restart the conversation again. That'll buy us a few thousand more words. Dean disappeared at this point at the front door, probably to keep tabs on what was going on while we were talking things out. Roswell's back, Orlando's unconscious, apparently Benson is somewhere, and we know where the route off the mountain is now? Speaking of, where is that? The water mill! Dun, Are you dun, fucking dun. Ki kidding me? <laughs> Are you is there, seriously is there an kidding old, me? Like, like cave? It's an old like mine shaft oh. coming out through the bottom. You just what you do is you you <laughs> deep breath to a stir. Solve this jigsaw puzzle and then go through this tunnel and it leads out to a dry lake bed where and then then the world has properly been taken by the hysteria by the time you come out the other side. Excuse me? He said the water mill. You mean Probably why you ran into Jack there, trying to keep you away from escaping, maybe. Dean is gonna be pissed that he was so close to the exit. Explains by what Memphis was there too, though. Wow. I think I think Benson knew about it. Maybe would seem strange that he'd know about it, but not mention it to anyone given how dire things are though. Well Benson's compromised. The, uh... Well... You have to find the medals, Dave. Yeah, he, The medals he, are the most important thing. I was trying to remember if he explicitly was contracted to, like, definitely make the, the experiment pan out. I don't remember if that was the case or not, but he definitely was still saying the medals, which, at the time, we thought was the same thing. And kind of is, but I don't think anyone understands that. Ugh, man. Well... I'm now so that we tired. know where it is, can't we just go there now? It's a bit of a walk, but we could leave. That's a little complicated, even with Orlando currently out of commission. Complicated how? Memphis was happy to tell me the way off the mountain, but said it wasn't going to help us. Apparently, only he can use that path. So the and deal was just a lie the whole time. Yay. And we're sure? It was technically correct. The best kind of correct. Uh-huh. Chances are he wouldn't say where it was unless he was able to taunt you over it. But I don't know, awful. he seemed pretty fucking quiet when he ran into us another time. And we can't risk it? If they're coming here, then let's go there. Not that we can really do that with Orlando unconscious. It always comes down to Orlando, just screwing them over by existing, apparently. Fuck. This is freaking Thantos' bit. It's just a... Is it the point was to take out Orlando now so that we can't escape. It does beg the question about what we're meant to do now, though. Sleep? Oh my god. Hard pass on that, Thanatos. We need to get ready. Get real, we never sleep, Thanatos. Four? Whatever's about to hit us. Oh yeah, great. As if none of us had thought about that already. Well, none of you are doing anything, so... Mm hmm? <laughs> Here's what I think. They're gonna make their way here to collect the vault, so we can either run or meet them there. Why would you do that? Why would you not run? Uh... Ben, once we've decided which way to go, we have to secure our way home. Yep, this has been the premise since day 13. Or 15. Well, obviously we run, right? Where? Where do you think? 
The road is out. The water mill is a risk. But even I'm not sure on that gamble. What gamble? What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> like, just... What? <laughs> just the ambiguous of some the somehow Memphis is the only one that can use the water mill, and that means something somehow. And just go. They should just, just go. go for it. They should just try it regardless, because... <laughs> What the fuck else are they going to do? They're just, it's they, not a gamble. There's one other way off the mountain. And every time anything comes another up, way. They it's just, not a gamble. Every time that they, anything comes up, it just it just gets shot down so they can go back to doing nothing. It's a gamble in that there's something there's some way that it's locked or blocked or some trick. Something's going on that makes it so only Memphis can do it, whatever that means. But your alternative is just stand here and die again, which you guys aren't even defending this place. You're not barricading it. There's no home alone traps. You're not even like getting more guns or weapons. You've just your your idea. It's comical that you keep you keep keeping watch because you don't have a plan of what to do when someone gets spotted. That's the entire plan is to keep watch. That's just <laughs> that's not what that means. So we meet them here to do what? Roswell started to fidget, not wanting to elaborate. To be honest, there's that whole hometown advantage thing to consider, too. Out there, who knows where they'll be. The same thing applies to you, too, idiot. They won't know where you are, either, if you just walk off the fucking mountain. Yeah. You're not suggesting we stay here and set up a trap, are you? It's not the best idea, but it's one of the few we have. True, it's one of the few ideas you've ever had in your whole life. We can Here's count a... on one hand. <laughs> Here's a better idea. Uh, how about we just leave? I think I could climb that gap in the road. Can you be so sure you'll make it and that no one's going to be on the main road to stop you? Why would they be there? We it's know, literally we know, the way out. We they said it was impossible to cross. <laughs> we, we pointed out over and over again that it's impossible, and we explicitly know that they were in the cabin. We know the location, the, the previous locations of every character down to like an hour ago, and we think they're coming here. Yeah. So why would they be at the road? It's, it's wild to me that they'll be like, everyone's coming here. We need to do something and prepare. Maybe we should leave. But what if they're they're going to where we're gonna leave? Okay, then they're not coming here, and we can just stay here. Like, what is the lot? The logic is just—it's like the revolving door discourse of like, well, yeah. if we go there, then he'll think one move ahead, and he'll know that I know, and that I know that he knows, and then we'll go here, and they'll be there. And what if there's someone there, dude? Which there's a un, limited which is amount an of unnecessary people. level of thought <laughs> when everyone's so sure that there's no ways off this mountain and these people just have complete control over the situation so they don't need to outsmart you they just don't yeah it's <laughs> so dumb we know that jack and dom are at the shack and we saw memphis at the water mill get well, dunked sure, on roswell but... also orlando is unconscious okay leave him <laughs> splash water on his face and Dave isn't going to leave him behind. Thanatos, Dave isn't going to do anything. Dave will never. never make a decision. Thanatos, have you seen how all this plays out? I have. I know how this goes down for the most part. Dude, you literally said you don't know. I guess we're back <laughs> in the part he knows or something. I don't know what the point of these differences were. What do you mean by that? It comes down to if you trust me and believe what I'm about to say. Almost like you're interfering. I looked at Tyson, who was already looking my way. Then a moment later, he made a move for the dining room. Are we going to get go another choice, finally, after 27 <laughs> years? I'm going to go see if I can wake that fat ass up. The sooner he's up, the sooner we can go. Just, I guess we have to double down on Tyson being mean to justify everyone everyone disliking him and being mad at him for trying to control the situation right now and him not being perfect by trying to save people instead of controlling the situation by doing nothing how bad are we looking you know how bad roswell you can't possibly mean 
I do, but if you want things to play out differently, we're gonna have to take some risks. What risks? Dave, here's what we need to happen. Everyone needs to stay in the house. We're gonna wait for Jack and Dominic to show up. But that's... So we set traps? No, no traps. We keep doing nothing. That's the answer, Dave. You gotta I trust me. I cannot fucking believe this. We always this. do nothing, and now we're gonna do nothing again. The answer is to do nothing. Have you considered never doing things? But that's crazy. What do we do when they show up? I'm with Dave on this one. You just expect us to do nothing? I mean, pattern recognition. <laughs> I do. It maximizes the most people surviving. The most or all? Look, do you want some of your friends to survive or for everyone here to die? Some of your friends to survive. See? Guys, just fucking take the road that you apparently think some of you can make it across. It, it might be more than this. The, the promised outcome isn't even- he, he can't- he won't even lie and pretend that everyone survives. Like, the math checks out. You gotta go. I want them all to live, Thanatos. Well, you should have kept Osmond alive, you dumbass. And there's no chance of that happening at all? You don't want the answer to that. I refuse to believe it. There has to be a way. We could leave. And where will you go? Home. Oh, without dealing with Memphis. Who cares about Memphis? What? Without dealing with Memphis, how will you sleep knowing he's out there possibly looking for you? That he won't stop until he's gotten exactly what he wants. We've he wants the house. We've never established that he cares about the friend group, because we've never met him, yeah. and his motivations aren't ever established. Except for the fact that he wants the time machine, that he thinks is a time machine, but it's not a time machine, but it kind of is a time machine? Like, what do you mean? If Dave's gone, what the fuck? I... Roswell's speaking in the past tense now. No, there has to be something we can do. This can't be how things happened. How they ended up for us. How much time do we have? Until? I looked at Roswell and gave him a nod, heading towards the front door. I'm gonna go get help. If Benson disappeared to go get help, then maybe I can leave with Dean or, or something and cross the hole in the road. What? What? Uh... This is just in the cards now? Now? On day 25? Just now? <laughs> Out of nowhere? Just now it's in the cards. But only some of you? What? You and Dean? Not even Tyson who wants to do it? We only have to get so far as when we have reception again, right? Bad idea, Dave. If you go out that door, you will not be entering this mansion alive again. He Good. doesn't want to just end his life so we can start over, please. I just want to point out that that promise is so bad that like, good. Like Dave doesn't want to ever be in this mansion again. <laughs> he doesn't say you're going to die. He just says he never sees you again, which that, yeah, okay. Dave doesn't want to come back to the mansion. He wants to escape the mansion. That's the whole point. He doesn't need to be part of the rescue operation. He calls authority figures to actually come in here. Almost immediately, I turn around and start to head towards the back door instead. If you go, smart ass, it's like if you go out that door, so you check going out the other door. <laughs> it's funny. I mean, that that is honestly the way that Thanatos has laid everything out is working, so. Yeah. Can you sit still? I sit to wait for the bad guys to show up. Unless there's a password to figure out in the vault downstairs, I can't just sit tight. Now you'll make a decision, you stupid fuck! What? I'm losing it. Uh, Dave, Dave will sit here while time is available to him. 
and people will be like, and we need to make a decision, Dave. Yes. And he's like, no, I can't. I can't make a decision right now. Too many bad things will happen. It's too much. It's too intense. I can't do it. I'm going to sleep. But now when Thanatos is like, hey, if you just sit tight, things will work out for us statistically. Like all of the times I've been saying that you've listened to me and it's worked. Dave is like, no, I must do something. <laughs> you stupid idiot. Like what? Do you just not understand? He just, I feel he's like he's a Dave is a contrarian in like the worst way. Is that why you ended up in the woods before? Kind of. I hate everything. <laughs> oh, for the love of... Roswell, sit down. Dave, come back here. Shut up and then sit down. And then what? Uh, less talk, more even less talking. Is it really just waiting? What can't, we can't do anything else? That's what he just said, idiot. Well, I prepared Orlando for what's about to happen, so all that's left behind is you two. It will be a comedy of errors. Memphis will run in and trip over Orlando's ass in the doorway and then fall on a knife and die. The same knife that held the freezer closed. <laughs> it was a setup and payoff. That's what those words mean. You don't mean... Thanatos was a bastard. He hit me with that sound, and I saw Roswell crumple, too. If it was anything like what he'd done to me before, and like he'd done to Tyson, I knew that things were going to be sore when I came to. The last thing I was conscious of, before it all went black, was the sound of hurried steps back inside. Dean or Sal, maybe. It was hard to say. When I opened my eyes, my chest felt heavy. I could feel the heat of fire the burn of it on my fur and into my lungs for this amount of smoke around us. I pushed myself up onto my hands and knees and looked around, but there wasn't much to see. Parts of the house had fallen around me. The front door blocked off from where things had collapsed in front of it. I couldn't see my friends. I couldn't see Thanatos. Or any of the bad guys we were meant to be expecting. Somewhere deep down I had a resigned feeling. That I knew that this was how things ended. That this was just how things had to be. The heavy stomping drew my attention as he stepped through the rubble. Parts of him were on fire, but he seemed to not notice or even care. But I could even... I could tell, even with the heat making it hard to focus, that his red scales were hiding the smears of blood he'd collected over who knows how long. Whose blood was it even? Was it one of my friends? But he picked up his gun off the ground, dusting it off casually, then sized me up. So you're the last one, huh? The gun came to rest, pointing at me. Was right that my I voice? Heard. Was I supposed to do that one? <laughs> I just looked over and read it out loud without even thinking. Yeah, Sorry. Well, we've never met Memphis before. He's never spoken. Oh, okay. He didn't speak before. Okay. Yeah. Just misremembering. We've gone this long without a line from him, I think. Yeah. Or maybe he might have had a flashback line once, but we've. I would don't. no one's going to remember the voice at this point. I don't. It was 45 the episodes ago. The gun came to rest, pointed at me, right as I heard another loud bellow from somewhere. Someone roaring over the flames. I expected the gunshot after I closed my eyes, but instead it was a crash, a thud. Then it all quieted, quietened down. It must have been all I was allowed to see, which felt strange when I thought about it. Was Thanatos choosing what I could and couldn't see? Or how much, even? If so, why was he choosing these moments? More importantly, if he wasn't, then what was the purpose of putting us under like this at all? Next, I was sitting in the middle of the hedge maze. I felt weak, hungry, and tired. But I was awake. Around me was no one again. I was by myself. I'm telling you, we're missing one. 
I could feel myself tense up, shrinking into a corner just so I was as small as possible. The scent of blood was in the air, and I cowered, hearing their voices closer. You're my hoss. You the good guy. I'll try that one again. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's a very low voice. It's... <laughs> Shame about hoss. You the good guy. <laughs> team, uh, team speak or any voice transmission thing is voice acting on hard mode. <laughs> he was the lion. You liked him so much. Why don't you marry him? Oh, right. He's dead. And, like, almost a minor. I could hear Jack cackling before being cut off suddenly, making a choking sound instead. The hell I hear you say. Nothing, boss. Let him go. Oh, look at him try and cut me. Reckon his head will pop right off like that pig. Why is he... I definitely thought that Dom would be choking Jack because he's like making light of the death, the death of someone that he doesn't like is dead, but it's Memphis. I don't know if is, he's choking Jack or if if there's just another person off screen that's being choked. Well, it says it says look at him try and cut me. Sure. And specifically, Jack got cut off by and it's choking. Oh, him. <laughs> so gotcha. yes, it's definitely Jack. But I'm like. Is it literally, are they playing this hard into the homophobic part? Like, you say the guy should marry a guy, I'm choking you out now. <laughs> I don't know. Boss, please. The sharp intake of air followed by coughing came after. The only one set of footsteps seemed to continue moving around. Are there one more or not? I'm done waiting. My breath caught in my chest as I heard them come closer, but it was Dom's voice that made me almost pass out. No, boss, no one else. Jack's just imagining things. My heart stopped next as I heard the gunshot fire, but who was shot I had no idea. Can it be me? Can it be Toaster who's been shot? <laughs> I can hold your dreams. We have a job to finish. Then he started to walk away, just like that. A few moments passed before I could hear someone pick themselves up and start to wander away as well. Their feet heavy, but the weight not accompanying it. It must have been Jack. They shoot Dom for lying or something? Or because he just doesn't actually want Dom or something? Huh. I breathed a sigh of relief and checked my phone, doing a double take. I had reception. Immediately I called for help. What? Hello? Wait, is this the end of the route? <laughs> Wait. Ah, uh, hello? Who's this? It's Dave, uh, David's son, the hyena. Oh, yeah. How you doing, kid? Uh, not great. Uh, can you send the police, please? What happened? Are you in danger? Everyone... Send the police to Everyone where? is dead. <laughs> the road is out. The house is probably gone. I'm the only one left. Okay, slow down. Uh, where are you? The phone was plucked from my hand, Memphis holding it up to his face. David. <laughs> David. Dave. How did you get snuck up on when you're holding a phone to your ear? Just, you fucking you idiot. Did you really call them on the phone? Did you really call the police on the phone when the bad guys were just in earshot one second ago? I just he could have just walked away or you know whispered he could have whispered uh I just, he other things he, other things he could have done um just like, give it he a could few, have give it a few minutes god damn uh, the phone was plucked from my hand memphis holding it up to his face sorry wrong number that usually doesn't work by no, the way no it doesn't work yeah, they can track where the phone call is happening and any nine one one calls taken seriously, basically. Then, in a single motion and a wicked grin, he crushed my phone in his grip. Now that that's done, let's have a little chat, shall we? He pointed his gun at me and motioned for me to stand up. 
Well, the world went black then and there. If Memphis kills Dave right here, he's a hero. <laughs> Was, Never I mean, forget what he's done for us. That seems like what's happening. I think he shot Dom for lying about Dave, I assume. Because da Dom clearly is merciful on some level. How is any of this useful? I, How is any of this going to help? What was ha Wait, this still is a dream? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so for context, I stopped yesterday and... After a few lines, I was like, wait a minute, this isn't a dream. This is just real Dave. And then I was like, okay, well, Dave, Toaster has to go. I'll cut it here. Uh, I'll rewind to the beginning of the scene, and we'll start the scene over next time. But it has turned out, it is turning out to be a dream. <laughs> God, it's not the end of the round. Uh, how is any of this going to help what was happening when I was awake? It's so hard to tell which moments are us waking up and just having woken up later and stuff has happened. He this wears traditional I... Japanese underwear because he is traditionally Japanese. He is Japanese. And he, he imported Japanese underwear from Japan like all of the Japanese people I've ever met in the United States do. Famously. I can tell because on their blue sky they keep posing in all of their Japanese <laughs> underwear and definitely not anything else. Uh... <laughs> I, I, I'm, a, I, I'm amused by the fact that, speaking of Japanese, uh, this mafia runs on the same logic as Yakuza, the video games, where, unlike mm -hmm. real crime families and real criminal everything really, where the, the top person is just kind of holding, like, social and political power, and isn't some cool badass necessarily, but just has earned their place in some way over the years or whatever, or maybe, I don't know, I'm not going to look at overly, uh, I'm not going to overemphasize that, like they're, that it's all based on merit or whatever the fuck. I'm just saying, like, there's other ways that someone becomes a leader to a thing, especially, and, and, and over time and so on. But in Yakuza, explicitly, the leaders of every crime family are the toughest, coolest, fighty mans who punch in a good. Because <laughs> yeah. inevitably you have to boss fight the leader of the family that is the bad guys in the storyline, and they have 75 health bars, and they pull off the- it doesn't matter if it's Kuze in Yakuza 0 who looks like this schlubby old man. He takes that shirt off, and he's fucking ripped, and he's got a cool back tattoo, and he, you have to fight him for- not only for seven health bars, but also he keeps coming back over and over again because he's literally unkillable. So you fight him five times over the course of the game because that's just how uh, Yakuza's logic is as, as a video game franchise. Mm -hmm. And like that, Memphis, the leader of, a, of the Mafia, just is the coolest, most baddest dude who is unkillable and can choke on anybody. And he's so strong that he shouldn't need a crime family, but also he does. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just yeah. how these always work. I'm, I'm very amused by that. Yeah. My... I, I'm i on the other side of that where it frustrates me where every single thing this game does, I go, Oh, the author's only point of reference is a Japanese, Japanese piece me of me media. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, he likes Zero Escape and Yakuza. And, you know, like, it's just... I find it so tiring. On the Yakuza topic, I am amused by the fact that, like, the beginning of the entire Yakuza franchise ends with Kiryu killing the, the head of a family, and that's why he, mm -hmm. and that's how the, the story starts. And that guy is just some schlubby loser, and mm -hmm. that's the only, that's basically the only time that happens for the rest of the franchise. <laughs> he's the, yeah. he's, he was uniquely the only, uh, family boss that was like that <laughs> it's, it's like that's it's almost like a weird break when you look back at it yeah i don't i don't i don't get what's going on I, I, it's odd to me that i don't know what to make of the fact that he he, he wears a fundoshi that seems inconvenient in a lot of ways in whatever country this is i don't know what country we're in to be fair but I assume it's either Australia or the United States, because a lot of stuff's just written to me in the U.S. ambiguously, even when they're not made by people in the U.S., but it could also just be ambiguously Australia, though I don't know if the nature matches Australia anywhere. This time when I woke up, I was burning. I could smell the singed fur, the burning wood, the blood, the smoke. Orlando was holding me carefully, but he was running way hotter than normal. Oh, God! Dave! 
Dave! He shook me gently and I coughed, trying to sit up. No, don't. Uh, don't move. Orlando? Where? No, uh, don't talk either. I, I only barely pulled you out of there. I looked around, though limited to what I could see from how Orlando had had me, I sniffed the air in vain. Roswell? Looking up at him, I could see the expression he gave me, trying to keep his eyes averted. Dean? Sal? The slow shaking of his head made that sinking feeling in my chest and stomach all the worse. A feeling of how of hollow despair started to blot out even the pain from the burns across my body. I also have no idea if this is a dream or not. <laughs> Anyone? Sorry, Dave. It's just us. I felt myself go limp, staring upwards into the sky. Everyone was gone? Did they die in the fire? It was short, but I got the idea. Okay, it's also not real. Because <laughs> this one takes place presumably sooner than the last vision we had, if it's even in the same timeline. So I thought maybe that it was all real now. <laughs> A fire. Everyone died. It was about what what it was about was expected. Oops. Well, we can't just leave them like this. Okay, this is real, probably. What should we do then? Has Sal found Thanatos yet? If he'd found them, I think he would have come back by now. Huh? I was flat on my back in the middle of the foyer. Next to Roswell. From what I could tell, Roswell was left unconscious, too. Dave? Are you alright? I... I think so. That's one of you awake, at least. Orlando and Roswell- Oh, that's not me. <laughs> that's one of you awake, at least. Orlando and Roswell are still out of it. What happened, anyway? Last thing I said before Thantos did his thing was like, um... I can't find him! Maybe we should have let Tyson search instead of leaving him with watching over Orlando. Tyson needs to learn to calm down. If he was given free run at the house, there's every chance he'd get distracted or wander off. Tyson has ha Tyson always has free run of the house, so that's a weird thing to say. But also, I don't think you need to... You don't need to spectate every sleeping person. Like... <laughs> you, you, you can... You can deal with things. Give him some credit. He wouldn't leave us like that. Leave us? He... Was, the premise was free run of the house. As his friend, I can almost guarantee you that he'd end up in bail if it meant keeping Dave safe. It's why he ran off into the woods. As his friend, who has been through many crises with him, and definitely can just predict all of his behaviors. <laughs> I've known him for like a week, but... How long was I out anyway? Long enough. One hour, 13 minutes, and some amount of seconds, probably. I like how it's day 25 and they're introducing this new character trait of, uh, of Sal's. That he's able to keep time perfectly. That's strange, yeah. Don't worry, uh, Toaster, it was hidden away in the Sal route. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you yeah. played the Sal <laughs> route, you would have known this about him. <laughs> Uh, I... Akin to some of the other characterizations, I'm not entirely sure what to do with the, like, obviously neurodivergent coded way they write Sal, but, like, now they're just kind of... Now we're just kind of, like, adding the, like, the good doctor kind of stuff, where it's like he's a, he's a savant that can keep track of time perfectly is the thing we're just gonna put in here. I don't yeah, know about that. <laughs> I think earlier I would have said a lot of this neurodivergent stuff was like specifically coded on purpose as like a choice in the narrative. And now I'm just like, 
Yeah, I think he just comes off this way because he's a extremely disparate collection of character ideas that just sort of conglomerated. And the only logical way to view that is to say he's neurodivergent coded, but I don't actually know if he is. I'm not entirely certain because, yes, increasingly I can't tell what's going on with half the other characters. But Sal is like a relatively like try hard quirky, like not how do I put this? Not yes. like the other characters it's, that are like, I seems... like anime. It's like Sal is meant to be out of step, even com yes. in comparison to the other strange characters. So that's why I don't like, know what salad is. Yeah, it's like, so yeah. it's like I'm like he's going for something, but I don't know if that is necessarily handled gracefully either. And this this being added in particular, I'm like, huh? Okay. Yeah. You're not even wearing a watch. <laughs> it is. It is like they're stopping to think about this as a sal trait that's being established 25 days. Ago. Word count. Word there's, count. Word there's never, count. Considering how much of this game is about uh, having appointments with each other and meeting up to do things constantly, you'd think this would come up a lot previously instead of exactly now. Especially since I don't think Sal saw Dave go down, so he can't know the seconds. He just can't. <laughs> it's just mm -hmm. him being overly quirky. It's an estimated guess. All according to Kay Kaku Dean. <clears throat> you could have just said an hour and left it at that. And the others still haven't woken up? Why did I wake up first? Thank you, Dave, for not responding to this topic because it's not worth turning into a conversation. <laughs> More importantly, why do you why did you end up unconscious? The same way it always does, Dave, Dean. Santos said that he needed to prepare us for what's about to happen. He wanted to talk to Orlando and probably knock him out, then did the same to us. So knock everyone out. <laughs> AoE. I'm starting to not like how he does that, almost like we've had extended conversations about bodily autonomy and agency, which we ourselves have been complicit in defying. Only starting. Well, did he prepare you or not? I... I don't know. I will now con continue to not convey any information that's useful. I sat up, looking it down at Roswell and then to the other three. When I was unconscious, I just saw things. What kinds of things? There was nothing good I could say to him. I hope you j I sincerely hope you mean nothing positive and not I have no information to share. Dave? Just what could happen? How many of us dead compared to, well, that, and, and there was... Dave, oh my fucking god, just explain that you know Haas died, for sure. Probably everyone, honestly. The house burned down. Memphis came inside. You all need to leave right now and risk any other option immediately, because you're all going to definitely die. You have no way of stopping this. There's a way it's... more... Valuable. Imagine if Dave was the protagonist of Final Destination. The movie's one minute long. Yeah, it would be one minute long. The plane explodes. I mean, th there's because, another and then thing. He's like, oh god, I saw a dream, but I don't know, man. It doesn't seem very applicable. And then he just goes back on the plane. <laughs> I mean, I think that there's an even better solution, like an even better thing you can do. And it it truly is just look at your phone. Just look at your fucking phone. To see what time it is? No, because you got reception again. Just pay attention to your phones and it call would, for help earlier. It would be interesting if he has reception now, but I, I assume that the reception was based entirely on them being done because they attacked, but I don't know. But he should check. That would that'd be a good reflex. Like, even if they don't have reception now, Dave should really just say, hey guys, we get reception back at some point because they, they turn off the signal jammer. So pay attention to your phones for when they turn off the signal jammer. Yeah, that's the thing to add to the list, which also couples well with get the fuck out of the house and hide if they're going to turn the, the yeah. signal jammer off, too. Fire! Oh, that wasn't much notice, Mr. Thantos. I feel like you could have <laughs> given them a little more time than that. 
Hey, by the way, the house is gonna be on fire. Oh, then you wake up. The house is on fire! Good thing I had advance notice of this. I, I, now I know what to do. <laughs> I looked across to Roswell, who had sat up suddenly what, what, with Sal kneeling beside him. Seemingly stunned by how quickly Roswell had gotten up. Oh, right. I forgot he was unconscious. Okay. Fair. Fire. It was his dream about fire. Thank you, Roswell, for introducing the topic properly. I, Dave is incapable of recounting any of his dreams to people. Almost immediately started to breathe heavy and start to cry. Dean awkwardly patting him on the head, unsure how best to help him. I saw it. I saw the fire. You saw it too? Huh? Too? Yeah, when I was unconscious, I remember being inside the house when it was burning, and also outside the house, too. <laughs> why do you phrase it like that? Now, now, if I'm D, if I'm Haas and Dean, I'm like, why the fuck didn't you say this in the first place? Why were you like, I don't know, man, Dreams, dream wasn't important, I guess we'll just die. What? I saw the fire. You sure? The house is gonna catch fire. How? Why? <laughs> Dean! It's one of the ways we deal with Memphis. Or... A way this story ends, anyway. He stood up, brushing himself off and wiping his face. Then he ordered a hand out to me and helped me up. We still have time until Memphis and others show up, but not a lot of time. They're, I don't know how their plan was ever to use fire when apparently Orlando and, and uh, Memphis are immune to fire, which is seems to be why Orlando was naked. So what do we do? Is Orlando still out? I believe so. Why? How else do you think the fire breaks out? It's got to be either Orlando or his father that starts it for sure. You can set fire in other ways, but I guess I leave it to the two dragons to breathe fire on the house, I suppose. Orlando wouldn't do that, would he? He might. All we have to deal with is everything else. You say that as if it's an easy enough, as if it's easy enough to just handle someone like Memphis. Who everyone is intimately familiar him with. Shoot him. Everyone knows exactly who Memphis is and what he's like and what it's like to fight with him. <laughs> like, what the I, I'm so frustrated by everyone's familiarity with Memphis, a character that's never appeared on screen, basically, except in one dream now. I guess in the last thing, but like, no one knows what the fuck. We don't know Memphis, so it's deeply annoying. What needs to be done? A few things. And, but I'll try and remember the specifics. He paced a little before turning back to us, nodding. To start, we need to monitor Orlando. As someone that's the root cause of the fire, we need to make sure that if he's gonna start it, we're prepared. And if he doesn't? Then we have him ready to help out when things start getting too hot. He's fireproof after all. If he's not going to start the fire, you guys should just leave the house if it's going to light on fire. <laughs> he is? Only fireproof, though. He'll still die to a bullet, a knife, or any other thing. Like being crushed by a falling piano or a cartoonish <laughs> anvil. <laughs> Including the smoke, but it's still a resource to be used. Toaster's got jokes. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> I need to find some way to ring or a, or a food pain. allergy. <laughs> it's just, yeah. You know, he's allergic to the blue food color in Mountain Dew. And most dogs. <laughs> Baja Blast will kill him, Dave. And don't let him touch grass. He gets bumpy. <laughs> he gets an itchy rash. It's not lethal, but it's very unpleasant. <laughs> Tyson. 
<laughs> Tyson's looking after him for the time being, so I guess that's covered. What else? Yeah, Tyson who doesn't know any of this stuff because you haven't told him. Once they arrive... No, you don't understand, Keith. If Tyson was in this scene, it would be efficient storytelling. We need Tyson to be away to justify re-explaining yeah. all of this Tyson the has next to be removed time Tyson from the room because otherwise he'd be like, "What? That's stupid." We're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Once they arrive, we need to make sure we're delaying them as much as possible. We need to annoy Memphis without him firing his gun. To which I volunteer for tribute. <laughs> Good luck not getting shot, Roswell. What the fuck are they talking about? Delay him as much as possible for what? Just leave. For five days? Just <laughs> do just do delay him till day thirty with a series of annoying thing. Men, with annoying with just a series of annoying distractions. <laughs> I, just, I would love it if literally every I, single one of these characters was murdered and then we never needed to meet them ever again. I just, I can't. What's breaking me is I'm just like, plan first. Like, what is your goal? That's where you start the discussion. What are you trying to accomplish? What are you hoping to do? What is the end point? Then, contextually, you can be like, Okay, so we need to figure out how to delay Memphis long enough for that to pull off. But we don't have a plan. They haven't said to actually do anything yet. So it's just like, everyone's just like hearing, we're just going to delay Memphis for some reason. And we're staying in the house that's going to catch on fire for some reason. Like, now this is justified yet because they're not explaining the plan in the uh, way that a human would. They're explaining it chronologically <laughs> instead of based on what the goal is and then working from there. So we don't know why he's saying any of these things. Why you? Not that I'm volunteering. Because my it's life doesn't simple, matter. Hoss. I'm the most annoying person. <laughs> because one of the things Thanatos showed me was me doing it. If things go exactly the same, it'll work. That's a big risk to take. Is it a big risk to take? Is it? Yeah, if someone fine. tells we, you the exact can... steps to do something and you do them, is that a huge risk? But I'm also, I just, uh, I'm just frustrated by the fact that like, this is once again, a game of telephone with virtue's last reward. And it only exists in that context. It only ex like fully makes sense in that context where it's like, Oh, in that game, you iter you iterate through countless timelines, and then at the very, very end, you finally were able to combine all the information into a successful outcome. But most of these characters have almost no experience. They didn't, like, train with the morphogenetic fields and get better with them or anything. At the end, they dropped the password premise entirely, and Thanos just started zapping people and just gave them all a vision about what's about to happen in a way that, like, technically could have happened without the rest of the story even existing. Uh, it would be, obviously, it would be less set up. Like, you should set things up before you do them, but, like, it's just not... The arc that they're borrowing doesn't match up, because they didn't actually recreate it. And, and so, and at this point, we've done significantly more Thanatos dreams than we ever did Passwords in the first place, despite the game being called Password and being about the Vault. The Vault super doesn't matter, apparently, because you don't have to die and get a bad outcome and then go back and fix them. Because Thanatos can just zap you, and then you just get the dreams anyway which means that the premise isn't happening and it means that I guess it means they don't have to write bad ends which given the way that the game's usually paced could be disastrous but if the game was full of more rapid fire bad ends that were written more like these dreams then it would make more sense on some level it's just it kind of feels like we've skipped the need to code like splits mm -hmm. at all by just incorporating it directly into one linear line where Thanatos just keeps zapping people. And the fact that it just... The, the the basic mechanic of the story just switched halfway through the story is just very odd. I don't get how we got this. And also, like, now... or Like, we did have one line of dialogue, basically, about how Orlando had got a vision once from the vault. But now we're just accepting that 50% of the cast gets these visions, so Dave isn't even really very important anymore. To the point where the story could just happen without him and they everyone else could just go with their visions and they're probably more reasonable than Dave, honestly, so Thanos should just stop fucking with Dave. Yes. 
So, we leave Memphis to you, keep Orlando under watch, but that still leaves Dominic and Jack. No, it still leaves Memphis. Memphis has not been dealt with in any way. He's just annoyed. <laughs> they didn't drop a piano on him. That's the bad thing. I don't know exactly how to deal with either of them. Leave. So what, we're just gonna ask them to stay out of the way while we deal with Memphis? Which might I add, we're just casually talking about killing a dude who's trying to kill us. No. I swear to God, we, dude. No. We forgot to it, talk about the idea of killing Memphis. We've never discussed killing Memphis. We discussed slowing him down by annoying him. That's the whole plan so far, Haas. No one's killing Memphis so far. <laughs> That's why I, so that, I hate that they're talking like Memphis is dealt with. How do we deal with, with Dom and Jack? Memphis is not dealt with. He's just near Roswell, which is not the same thing as much as it might feel like it. You might be able to reason with Dominic. What? Why, Dominic? Wouldn't I be better for that? You've never met him before. I would have thought so, given you're both bears. This is racist. <laughs> it was in one of the things Thanatos showed me. I'm glad we're basing it on Thanatos' visions. I mean, yes, it's helpful that Thanatos' visions show that... Uh, across like seven data points that Dominic is probably more merciful than he's pretending to be. But you don't need Thantos to show him that he likes Haas. We just already know that. And Haas already knows that. That's just been in real life. Something Dominic said about you, Haas. I thought you were a good guy. That you knew this already! I'd be flattered if I didn't notice the use of past tense here. Jack doesn't like you, though. What? Great. We need Thanatos! Anyone seen him? Stop needing Thanatos. They were looking for him when I woke up, which wasn't long before you did. Alright. Dave and I will go looking for Thanatos in the meantime. I suggest Ow. someone remaining by Orlando and then deciding on who's going to confront Jack. Once that's decided, we barricade the front and back doors. We're going to lock ourselves in the burning house, which the dragons <laughs> cannot be murdered by. This, this can't have been why the house was lit on fire. The fact that it was barricaded. I don't, I don't their plan is insane. I don't have these people, but uh, okay, as, as a small side note. I'm, I, I'm mm -hmm. hoping that they're doing a thing here because I'm I always hope for you know like clear intent and so on so my hope is that in route a Thantos basically disappears and that Thantos was always basically a replacement for Oz in route B and that Oz is more directly involved and that Thantos doesn't take the role he does here in route a because at least that does then end up meaning that route B is all about them getting interfered with by Thanatos and then like becoming dependent on him to the point of it being detrimental because that they they're so like just they are stuck to the titty they cannot get off and like mm -hmm. I, that has to be that has to be the point between A and B I'm praying like if Thanatos, if Thanatos doesn't do the same thing stuff behave the same way in A then that at least helps justify some of the shit because it's like, okay, they're all completely surrendering their agency to Thanatos, and that will always end badly. That has to be the point. Please. I'll do it. Hi? Really? Getting bored watching over someone who's sleeping. But Jack's dangerous. If someone's <laughs> gotta do it, it may, then I may as well volunteer. That's a very high risk that whoever does it is going to be injured or worse. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'd rather make sure it's not one of my friends. No, you all gotta make sure- of, All no, two of you. <laughs> Tyson, Tyson, stop taking actions. We need to stop and re-explain everything we just explained to you. Yeah. We need to, we need to reassure you that this is dangerous and that Memphis doesn't like you and that we're gonna need to fight him and that dragons are fireproof. 
But Tyson, we can't trade one life for many. Let's ha talk about this for seven more years. <laughs> and you think that you'd have a decent shot of uh, doing whatever it is you need to? I don't know, man. You could fucking help. <laughs> There's three of them. No, seven he truly of us? can't. <laughs> he truly can't help. He's Lord's man. What has axe? Like. Two no, on one. Let's no, go. No, you're you're misunderstanding. <laughs> that you think that's his characterization, but his characterization is actually a uh, big man that stands around. That's his whole character. We can't. It's unreasonable for you to assume that he's done it. He'll do anything else. He has no other skills, Keith. Get he, whittle Jack. <laughs> Whittle him, Dean. <laughs> that was the setup and payoff. I forgot that he whittles. I forgot that was a character trait. <laughs> you need to whittle Jack to death. <laughs> Carve him down, Dean. <laughs> you think you have a better shot at it? If you do, it's all fucking yours. No. No. Two on one. Let's go. This isn't a fucking... <laughs> Not an honorable duel. He's going to murder everybody. <laughs> fucking get your biggest guys to all have weapons and all just fucking take them out. Don't act like ninjas where you suck when there's more than one of you. Just fucking murder him. Act like act like ninja guide and sigma ninjas <laughs> with explosive kunai that don't fight fair and all attack at the same time. <laughs> uh, no, that's that's fine. If, if someone has to do it, then. You're f and you're a fine volunteering. You at least be careful, right? What is Dean doing? The look he gave me was a mix between stern and uncertain. He wasn't angry, but I knew that he was, in his own way, scared about what he was putting himself towards. Why? I just... I don't understand why they're splitting up, but I don't understand why they think that the team of Memphis is going to be three separate characters in three separate locations you can send three separate groups of people at in a coordinated planned way and not just like people standing next to each other with guns <laughs> for what it's worth this is probably the best outcome no it's not there's a whole other route there's a true ending you idiot shut the fuck up Because? Based on sheer probability, if this is an idea that you came up with yourself, then it's likely correct. I have no idea what that means. From the times I've seen this play out, more times than not, you and I are the last ones alive. How many times have you seen it play out? We got some kind of hint about that, because he said, like, no, this can't be how it turned out this time in past tense. So he's seen more. He's, seen, he's like he's been trapped in the long sleep. I said that before, but like the Junji Ito story. But we don't know what he knows. Hold on. I didn't pick up on this last time, but the players did. Roswell turned to me confused. What? Times? Plural? When else did you get shown things like this? It's less when, but more, how do I put this? You don't, I do. We looked over the stairs where Thanatos was standing, shaking his head. Well? You weren't the first choice, Dave. Almost everyone under this roof, to some extent or another, was chosen to see you all through to the end of the month. Oh my god, like it was some kind Except, of planned conspiracy of people? Oh my god, and it's also almost as if they told us that there were other people that could use the vault. It was like something we learned on day six. We, we've known it at least since whenever Orlando said he got a vision. Then we eventually found out that, they're, that Orlando and Roswell are genetically coded to, to be attached to the vault. And then also... Between the Sal revelation and the David's dad revelation, I was like, okay, so everyone everyone on this trip was putting her on purpose. <laughs> like, to the point where I was willing to just accept that like everybody has a past history like Haas and Sal, whether we, we accept it or not. Uh, so Haas is literally here to reason with Dom. That's why he's on this trip, basically. Uh, so I guess they like tricked Roswell 
or manipulated Roswell to bring the correct set of people, except presumably Tyson is the wild card. Because that doesn't make sense otherwise. That many? Before you go worrying about it, there was almost no difference between anyone else aside from you, Orlando, and Dave here. Roswell? Me? Orlando? Because we can use the vault? Very good, Dave. This isn't even a deduction, it's just information we already had. But yes, only the three of you have the genetic coding necessary for it. Me and Orlando, I get. Our dads are coded in, but Roswell? I still don't fully understand why Memphis got coded in to begin with. I still don't get why he did uh, that. Yeah, it's um, some sort of thing based into the origins of the whole thing somehow. Yeah, which we don't know. Just... What, we don't know what the original conspiracy is of like. Yeah. Why was the vault created? Why does why was Memphis seemingly involved in that, but now is an outsider to the whole thing or something? And also, wh why <laughs> why do you keep having I mean, to swap people out to give? Uh, why are they swapping people out to give us the highest chance of succeeding at surviving this trip when the easiest thing to do, if you have the ability to control who comes on the trip, is to have them not come here? So, like, yeah. clearly, everyone involved, including the people that want Dave and everyone to survive, are Akane-ing. They are, they're Akane. They, they are still intending to make the horrible trip that where they died 99% of the time happen on purpose yeah. because of their experiment. So that it's not out yeah. of, comp like, compassion or anything. <laughs> Even yeah. the good guys are evil. It's simple, right? Obviously, his dad is coded in. <gasps> Everyone gasp while we reiterate information that Keith and I got to on day five. Yeah. There are many reasons why I could argue that's not the case. I promise you, he's not. Because he's dead. It's probably a little too convenient, right? Yeah, but your uncle's coded in and your, and your aunt. I looked across to Thanatos, who was staring at me. The way we had our eyes locked was as if he was trying to spur me on the on the mo on to remember something, or it's okay. I get it. Mhm. Mm so he's he's Oz's son, but he was raised by his brother. That's what's going on. What are That's you talking he, about, Davis? No, uh, Roswell. Roswell is Oz's son, but he was raised by Ro Oz's brother. And sure. That's why they're talking about Dave right now, aren't well, they? No, they're talking about why Roswell is, uh, they're talking about why, Ro why Roswell can use it. Because we I don't- I was like 100% we... sure they were just talking about Dave. Did the, did no. the, tra did the, did the text give the wrong name? No, it's just, I think you just But Roswell, oh, okay. I, I think, I think right you just here I thought out. they were talking about Dave. I, I was like, yeah, of course Dave's dad is programmed in. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, we're just saying yeah, why anyway. is yeah, we're saying why is Roswell coded in because we don't know about Roswell's we don't know about how Roswell's connected to the vault because we know that Memphis and Dave David were coded in, but we don't yeah. know about Roswell, but I'm like, well, Ro well, Oz was coded in and I'm I'm like I'm pretty sure that Roswell's probably Oz's son. That's why he dotes on him quote unquote like a son. Uh yep. despite him being raised by his brother, even though yes. an uncle would already be potentially think that way anyway, but that's what they're foreshadowing probably. But may, but now it says, what about his mother? So who knows? Maybe I was expecting this to make a little too much sense. My mom? If I'm remembering right, the four people that are coded into the vault are Memphis, my dad, Oswin, and his sister, Florencia. I'm noticing a lack of Dave or Roswell or Orlando on that list, so any descendant works fine. Which means if Oswin isn't Roswell's dad, there's still a way he could use the vault, right? Or he just is his dad. It'd also mean that Oswin was Roswell's uncle. Something that Roswell would have known about this whole time. I mean, would he have known about that the whole time? I, I mean, I think he would. But also, I mean, Bob Odenkirk just found out, like, this week that he was related to King Charles. Like you can't, there are ways to not just not know your relatives. Yeah, it's easy. Uh, I don't. 
Yeah, it's not that I, crazy. I think that one of my aunt, one of my grandparents that cares more about ancestry and was like, you're this percent Native American and blah, 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 is like has traced something back to like General Sherman or something, but I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care who I'm related to. I am... Roswell? Did you know? I did, yes, but I didn't think that was important. This whole trip was just a cool ink and zinc and it has nothing to do with my family who set up the whole thing. And why wouldn't that be important? That's, yeah, that's pretty rough to hear from Roswell when he's apparently experiencing all the different timelines and stuff. So he has to, he literally has more information than anyone, including us seemingly. So you would think that he would have figured out by now that this was a thing. You had a family member wandering around the house the whole time. Hell, it's had Benson to the mix if he's Osman's actual butler. Let's not say the whole time. Was that in question? What? <laughs> If he is a careful butler. Of Benson, he might have been lying about being the butler. He's actually four more rat robots in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> why? I don't understand why Benson is in this paragraph. <laughs> I don't know what his point is there. But we can't say that Oz was around the whole time. I'm unfortunately going to have to remind you. As opposed to what? Some would say some sort of companion, I'm sure. They were just roommates, Dave. I, were they father? Uh, do they have a father and son dynamic, or do they have a, a son and daddy dynamic? You, you gotta pick <laughs> one. You can't just conflate those. That's gonna, that's up there with the Tyson being your brother, except in the rat where you fuck. Gross. You can't just say that about gay people, Roswell. You're telling me. So Osman is your uncle? That's all? But he's dead. So? <laughs> we can talk about it if you want, but is it really going to change anything? <laughs> it's... It's incredible. It is incredible how anytime something relevant begins to happen, they're like... No, let's not talk about this. It's not going to make a difference. It's like, shut the fuck up. Let's just let lore happen. Let the story tell itself, you fucking moron. We can talk about it if you want, but is it really going to change anything? He's gone now. Benson's gone now, too. I don't know. Shouldn't we talk about it anyway? So many things happened and... He's probably the reason we're here to begin with, right? Not that we'll ever know. We've had so much time to unpack this. We could have talked about this on day 22 instead of now. But now is not the time to talk about it, sincerely. Like, it is time to actually figure out how to survive right now. Haas looked away, shaking his head. This isn't over, but if we have Dominic and Jack coming, we should do something about it. Alright, any immediate ideas or should we just start barricading the door? My question is how we're meant to talk to any of them if they're already breaking inside. Is there a way to make sure that we're going to encounter them only one at, a, at, at them at a time? No. <laughs> Maybe, though I'm not sure on the details. What do you remember? The next step is setting up bombs as a contingency. I swear to God, if there's an Umineko tiny bombs conversation that happens, I will actually lose my whole fucking mind. The Santos does set up bombs as a contingency, so that means that he did blow up the house and, and G, and it wasn't Jack, I guess. Yes. Bombs? A little bit overkill, don't you think? Hey, for what it's worth, then uh, I just did Haas voice for that because his 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 mouth is open and I was just looking at the sprites. <laughs> He's just stuck that hey, way. Hey, for what it's worth, they almost never go off. So, what do you mean? 
we know they're setting off bombs and we're not more worried about that. Where do they set the bombs? Just outside. Around the outside of the house. <laughs> My brain, it felt like a record <laughs> skipping trying to read that sentence. Just outside, around the outside of the house. Outside, you know, like around, outside. <laughs> and who sets them? <laughs> it doesn't matter, just set the fucking bombs. Thanatos just said to set them, so just set them, you fucking idiot. What are you, what are you talking about? I, I'm an herbalist, you see. An herbalist, you see. <laughs> Thankfully for us, Dominic. I know where this is going. Will Hospital ride right out there with Dominic? That's where we'll need Tyson. Needs to run interception on Jack while Hoss chats Dominic up. Usually run, say run interference on Jack, but... Uh, I'm glad that we have a time travel rat to just explain to us what's going to work and what's not going to work so that we don't have to worry about stakes. You want to know what would be really cool is if he did this literally any other time in the game. You know, the premise just, of the game. Like, I, at this point I'm praying the payoff is that Thanatos is lying through his teeth the entire time and that all of these are wrong and that all of it goes bad. Because if, if he just tells us what to do and it works mostly how he said, then it's like, all right, well, what was, what, what, that was supposed to be the premise of the game was that you like you fail and then have to go back and fix the thing and yeah that hasn't happened since uh that sincerely has not happened since orlando was shot on day eight <laughs> like that's the premise of the game and it went away because the massacre ending doesn't exist in this route but also you get the passwords to massacre and werewolf before they happen so that also, you never have to, like, go experience the bad thing and they go, Oh, fuck, how do I fix it? Because you get the passwords in advance. Which is weird, because the premise is that Dave has to have experienced the bad end in order for it to exist, so that he can get a password to get a dream. So if you don't play that route, that technically should mean, under the logic of the game, that that route doesn't exist yet. So the password yep. shouldn't exist yet or work. Yes. This so is what it, I was talking about when I said work. the fact that the, the the fact that the timelines are like linear doesn't make yeah. any sense. And at this point, I, I'm feeling sincerely robbed that we don't get the like the rat trying to escape through the maze and dying over and over again, and then the more, and then through morphogenetic fields finally finds the correct route out. Like we're not getting that. Like yeah, it's like there is no here's what ha went wrong in the Memphis ending, and then here's how we fixed it and iterated on that. Which means we're being robbed of the conclusion of the game. Like, the akin to like how yeah. a boss fight is supposed to be a callback to all the mechanics you've learned so far. Yeah, The big encounter test, yeah. at, the, at the big end of a narrative is supposed to reincorporate the things that people were working towards, or their character arcs, or like the power creep thing that was happening. It's supposed to pay off the premise of the story. And instead, Thanatos is just telling us the correct things to do. So... He has yeah. to be wrong for this to work. It has to be a bad end, and all of Route B ends badly. But even that doesn't fully salvage it. It would at least make it so it's, I'm, I'm not being robbed of it in the way that, like, Thanatos uh, isn't just robbing us of the ending this way, but it would still raise the question of why doesn't Dave iterate on the endings if it does just be like, oh, Thanatos lied, you all died, the end, try Route A. Like, so... Like, if this doesn't involve any passwords, or Dave transcending into a post-password being who can resonate without passwords, but still has to resonate and go back and fix problems, then yep. Route B needs to be fired into the sun. <laughs> yeah, it Route B's terrible. Be, like, it's been, it's been bad so far, but if it doesn't even pay off the premise of the game by the end, it shouldn't be a thing anyone can make the mistake of clicking on. Like... I don't remember... If I have yet, if I have actually said this yet, but like, this is just the worst visual novel I've ever read. And route, like, route B, I mean, route B is like yeah. legitimately the worst visual novel I've ever read in my entire life. And I've read hundreds of visual novels. <laughs> like, it is, it is a remarkable waste of time. And the mechanics of the very universe and the premise of the plot just don't work like it just yeah. it's not it's not coming together 
And the fact that we're still like reiterating the same ideas and not going anywhere with them and like we're still introducing character concepts 25 days in as if these are just quirky things you do in a narrative that aren't going to get set up or pay off. It's just like it's truly I yeah. I no, genuinely I, feel like my time is being wasted. <laughs> like that's yes. how I feel right now. Yeah, like I I try not to be mean, but at the same time like I've read significantly fewer visual novels, but it is just absolutely brutal because it just seriously lacks any like clear intent in its writing. It doesn't seem to ever be going anywhere. It sincerely is a, a, a story about people just sitting around doing nothing for the vast majority of the thing. And you can't just say it's a story about depression and, and leave it at that either. Because that's one of the yeah. things that people bring up. Like, and also the thing where people are like, but there's some bad guys in the woods, so like, what are they going to do? And like, okay, we'll write a better story. Cause Have the story you ever people... been into the woods before? Because it's not like it's an alarm where you take one step into the woods and they know your exact yeah. location. Like, As much as Panic Attack, because Jack is attacking, uh, was kind of, like, well done. Jack doesn't magically find you in the woods whenever you go there. Like, yeah. he's seemingly an idiot. Uh, just very stupid. And it's just through coincidence he happened to be at the route at the road when Jack when Dave went there that one time. But like I, I I've hit the point where I'm like I am very thankful, if it's true, uh, for having landed on the explanation that the game was seemingly written one day, one day at a time, because that finally gave me answers. Because <clears throat> Route B is so devoid of intent from day to day that I just can't comprehend why somebody would write this story from front to back in yeah. this way on purpose and so getting the explanation for how it would happen by accident is at least satisfying where i'm like oh fuck okay that at least makes sense like if they're writing every route simultaneously i can see how you could at least make this you could fall into this pit of like Let's write route A. Now we'll route the right write the route B version. Oz isn't here. Yeah. And this is the scenario. And then you just kinda like you would feel like assuming route A is much better, which people that say even people that agree with us say that like route A with Tyson and so on is way better. Uh, if you had to write each day with every character and all the routes at the same time, then you'd probably think you had a good update on your hands if you have like, oh, Tyson went through all this stuff and Route A had this stuff with Oz and like, look how cool my story is going. Even if it is like not amazing when we get there, I can see how you would be, how it would be something you feel much better about and then have just failed to properly gauge how Route B is actually coming along on its own and how Sal is actually coming along on his own. And that's how you yeah. end up with this bizarre trap where entire days of Route B don't do anything. <laughs> just yeah. just spin their wheels in the mud and repeat one conversation seven times for way too long. And like, if you were writing Route B from front to back in one go and you realized how thin everything was, this fucking like yeah. bone broth of reduced, like there's just mostly water soup. You would cut the water and be like, okay, well, this 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 day is just going to be like five minutes long, I guess, because that's just all that happened yeah. that was interesting that day. Or and you the, just skip a couple days and say the past few days passed yeah. and nothing happened. Like, yeah. it's fine. You can do that. Like, you can absolutely skip and yeah, you can absolutely skip past several days and it would even be completely acceptable in like the when you once you re, like the audience realizes that at some point that they're in like the bad route. Like as a yeah. bad ending, not necessarily bad bad written. And one of the ways to salvage the part where just less is happening and they have fewer tools to deal with the problems that are happening and fewer characters around to help them and the story just has fewer mechanics is to just skip huge chunks of it and pay off the point of the route instead of having insisting on writing every single day because it's a Patreon update. Like, yes. that makes way more sense to me. But that still doesn't save it if it doesn't pay off the premise of the game at the end, which is the pro what, we, what this, this tangent started with. But we'll have to see, because I'm worried. Because <laughs> I I just... It's very strange. It's... it's it's uh, I, I, I fully understand why someone would struggle at the idea of the of having to rewrite this whole thing at the, at, at the end of such a huge project when you're just ready to move on. But it that's definitely how... 
that's definitely where this project points. It's like, this is the kind of thing where you're like, okay, you got your idea sketched out. Sorry that your sketch took the form of a fully produced video game that <laughs> that is out and so on. Yeah. And you had to code and art and everything. But now that you've fully sketched out your story, now it's time to like write the real version, essentially. Because yeah. that's how most writing works, actually. And that's... Like, there's the bones are here, but fuck, man. <laughs> yeah. I think this game is a disaster. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, I lost the screen. Here we go. What'd you do? I just went to click on the window, but accidentally clicked on the window I had to open behind it, and then it got covered. Uh... I am not seducing Dominic. He doesn't have to, right? No, just try and reason with him. Whatever you do, keep yourself safe, and whatever you get going is what we'll go with. What the fuck did you think? Seduce Dominic? I guess chats Dominic up is where he got that from. I'm just like, what a bizarre conclusion. Like, Haas just goes out to Dominic and he just like does the fucking scary movie thing where he's like, does this shirt make me look gay? How about now? <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, -da 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 -da. how the fuck do you initiate that in the middle of the bombling scheme? Like, I'm just gonna roll to seduce Dominic. <laughs> I don't even know what the implication would have been there. And while this is happening, Tyson's going to what? Talk with Jack? Even I know that's a bad idea. And I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else do you expect? What if they fought? Good idea. That wasn't a suggestion. You sure Tyson survives along with Roswell? If I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have told you. To be honest, there are a lot of times where Tyson is just pulled through, so if we gamble on it... I don't want to gamble on it, I want to plan. How about this? We send a Hoss and Tyson out together. Then they figure it out from there. It's very annoying that... Right now, they're like... Here's the plan. We send Haas and Tyson out, and they're like, what if that's a gamble? And then Thanatos' response is, well, how about this? What if we do the exact plan I just said? <laughs> There's nothing changing about what he just said. <laughs> I don't want to gamble. I want a plan. Well, here's a plan based on a bunch of information with our magic time travel powers. Well, uh, no, it's not good enough. <laughs> cool, what do you want? You want ice cream? You want ice cream? Yeah. They want ice know, cream, man. that's what it is. You're the one that's going through such efforts to not just fucking run. <laughs> just run! Oh my god! You don't want to do deadly Macaulay Culkin games? Run! There's your better chance. Fucking take it. It's right there. Not much of a plan, but fine. I look over to Tyson, who had already started moving things around with Dean, so they were closer to the door, but it wasn't clear just how much they'd been listening. I'll take Tyson and we'll, what, just hang around outside till they show up? Great idea, Hoss. Just great. <laughs> just solid, all around solid idea. You've got a couple of hours. Get a nap if you can, because you're gonna need it. My god, you have hours to leave and run? So many, so much time! The fire starts in a couple hours? I just want to kill all of them. You ever think about that? <laughs> it's just a thought. 
it's got, like a it's, why it's like it was, a thought that I have sometimes. I mean, it was part of the emotional catharsis of and where I, my explosion of laughter came from when the house just exploded. Yeah. Like, oh my god, it would it's, be really it great. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> We're free. It's just it's remarkable. I'm this is I think if this happened, I would remark upon it. Like it's <laughs> It's so much. It's so much, and it's it frustrates me so bad. Uh, all right. I'm sorry, well, I, just, I, was, I wasn't ready for how stupid that line was. <laughs> it's just so much. It's just remarkable. Uh, I think if this happened, I'd remark upon it. <laughs> I would. I would remark upon it because it's terrible. It makes me very frustrated. Um, I'm dying. I think it's bad. That's my take, is that yeah. this is frustrating. Well, let's power uh, through. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, just Dominic arriving. Then Jack. Then Memphis. And the fire a bit later. Can't believe they're arriving in single fire file. Like, you, do you even need to run interference then on Jack then if Dominic just shows up alone again? <laughs> <laughs> but how much later? I'm just gonna go word Tyson up on what's happening. You, isn't Tyson standing right here? I think he already left what? to do something. It said Tyson and Dean were moving stuff around. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I don't want to think about this anymore. The wording. I'm going to. <laughs> I I'm that was going you to. In real life. <laughs> No, that was me just doing my host voice, which is just my regular voice. Um, the, the, the phrasing, I'm just going to word Tyson up about this is like profoundly funny. Yeah, right? I'm going to corn song Tyson. <laughs> this is very, it's very, very goofy. funny. I watched him go, looking defeated and at a loss. Not that I could blame him. My head was still spinning from what we just experienced with that I was putting us under. And the revelation that Roswell had been hiding things. <gasps> Roswell Wait, hiding that's a something revelation? in this game? No way. His entire character, besides being bullied? Man. It must be hard being a friendless loser. Well, now what? Shouldn't you be telling us? Roswell has it so hard, Keith. You don't understand. His life is so difficult. What do you want from me? It's just down to a waiting game. There's nothing more to do except wait. You said, well, now what? That was you. You prompted the discussion about what to do next when your answer is to do nothing. Why did you do that? and then act annoyed when people respond to you, Thanatos. Why are you like this? Then, I want to talk to Roswell. I want to know everything. Everything? Y you two should be sleeping. Not until I get some answers. Everything feels r so wrong. Like, I'm missing something here. All right, Dave. All right. Next episode, Roswell-vations. Did neither of you hear me? We heard you, but trust me on this. You literally said that we should wait. So what the fuck is your problem, Thanatos? <laughs> Fine, just don't take too long. You said to kill time! I hate this character. <laughs> Roswell yeah. turned and led the way forward, heading upstairs and right into my bedroom rather than his. He stopped in the middle of the room, turning towards me nervously and wondered where we should start. So there's a thing called... ADBL. <laughs> Wait, A B no. A D B L. Fuck. I don't remember the letter of the sequence of letters. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was my, my first reaction... When he's like, I need Roswell to tell me everything. And he's just like, 
everything looking down and sad and it's like it's like here comes it's like here comes the kink discovery <laughs> then they went straight to their bedroom okay so what exactly did you see when you were unconscious that's what you want to hear about first wait i I guess there were more revelations than that, but I thought, yes, I thought that was the premise, is what the fuck did you see? Because we can know everything. Yeah, you mentioned a fire, but what else? There's one vision that's almost recurring. Like a nightmare, really. I'm in the basement. The fire is raging. I can hear the screams of people above, and when those screams stop, too. You have that as a nightmare? Yeah, strange to call it that, but pretty much. That's strange to what? call it that? You this literally just described a, a nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> Even though it was caused by Thanatos? Did he, did he do to you what he was going to do to Tyson? Uh Oh, the thing where he fucks with them every night. What he was going to do to Tyson? Yeah, on the night of the full moon. Roswell. Keep up. I I guess I don't know. Have you ever had that dream without Thanatos knocking you out? Yeah. And Thantos knows? He does. Why didn't you say anything? That sounds horrible. Even after hearing about the visions you had, I wondered if the same thing had happened before. The same thing? As if it was having them, as if I was having them as nightmares as well? You mean you haven't been dreaming of them, too? Couple, but <laughs> I don't know. It's it's hard to really tell what's just a dream and what's... I guess they'd be memories, right? I'm just waiting for the moment where he's like, No, Roswell, I haven't been having them. Go get a sleep study done. Get Choose some kava root or something. Like, what's going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> memories. Yeah. Always with the falling piano. So when did you talk to Thantos about all this? About my nightmares? Earlier and more than you'd think. For a small while I thought I was talking to a ghost, but no. Just a rat. And he just told you what was happening? Uh, he explained what I was seeing were memories. I knew that he was talking, I knew what he was talking about pretty quick, and I have my mother to thank for that. Speaking of. What? Why did you want to know? She's really Florencia Hammond? Flora Sinclair. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, right. Before she married your dad. Roswell shrugged, shaking his head. All I can tell you is that Uncle Osmond was someone that Mom talked about fondly, if sometimes a little sad about. He was the one that helped deliver the news about my sickness, too, so there was a time where he was around a fair bit. I would say it wasn't that broken up for someone who just lost their brother and son. <laughs> so he's really, you know... <laughs> you know <laughs> phrasing was kind of funny <laughs> because, it, because the implication is Dave's doing the wrist thing yeah <laughs> so, he's, so he's like you know 
What, related by blood or not? I guess we are, although it's less a guess than what I've been told anyway. No, it's just a fact. That's what a how these things sentence. work. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you about? talking He's about? Of uncle. course you're related by brother. He's what your, fuck? your mother's brother. <laughs> Akin to talking about food like they've never eaten before. They don't seem to know what families are as yeah. a concept. Like they are concretely and explicitly family. That's just tr this is true. Then, what did you really think about Oswin dying? I don't understand the question. It's unfortunate news, but has anyone seen the body? Me! We're back. Yes! We're back on I, this? We're I back the on body. them not knowing the that giant... the body... <gasps> yeah, no one ever saw Oz's body, except we did! Giant crocodile Dundee knife sticking out of his heart. Um, yes? Then I suppose it just hasn't hit me yet. Or without seeing it, I'm just not as affected. The Roswell's just ignored the fact that Oz is dead for the last, like, 15 days. He's just, nope, not, 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 not gonna think about that. I've always had a strange relationship with death. Did you know that this was all going to happen when your parents arranged this vacation, Roswell? That, that everything was going to go wrong? That we'd be trapped and maybe dying? There's no good answer to that, Dave. That's not good. The answer should be no, Roswell. <laughs> Otherwise, you invited all of your friends on a death trip, and I don't think we, that we can well come back from that one. <laughs> and I guess my, la my last question would be, Oh, Dave's just gonna blow past that, huh? Dave's just gonna blow past the answer not just being no, huh? That's deeply fucked up. And he was like, I can't believe you don't remember what he did to us. You took, you yeah. brought us all on a death trip and the answer was, wasn't no. I didn't know that was gonna happen. And I guess my last question would be, you know who Thanatos' master is? Who he really listens to? I think so, but it's not a simple answer. Cool, I can I can ex accept five word answers too. Thanatos listens to his original master, the one he was gifted to long before he you seemed to be the right choice for his experiment. You. <laughs> I can't tell what that's supposed to mean. Because both so... he and you could be the correct thing of who was the right experiment person. <laughs> yes. I guess it's Dave, so it's you. But the idea that Dave was the proper subject for the experiment seems not true. Yes. <laughs> because correct. at this point, they're giving up and just using Roswell and Orlando anyway. I held my gaze on him with a slight frown. There was an answer I was expecting, and deep down, I didn't want to accept it. That's the truth. He's nice to you, so... The reason for that is likely because at the very beginning he was likely given to me. So he's the, so the he's master, the master is Roswell because... It, fucking... I think I guessed Roswell was Akane on day three before the plot started. Yeah, we all did. We both like, of us did. We talked about this. We were like, oh, Roswell's clearly the one that's probably in charge of all of this. Yeah, but it, once again, just like Akane, does make him evil. Like, <laughs> that's just a horrible character. That's just, it makes him so much worse than he seemed already. Like, sorry, Roswell. You should just die. Just, it's okay. This is not an acceptable response. He wasn't given to you this time around? A loud crash from somewhere downstairs echoed up, followed by another. What's going on down there? No, don't change the subject. <laughs> Please, I'm Dominic, begging you. Yeah. Dominic and Jack aren't meant to show up for a while, are they? If what Thanatos is saying is the truth, then yeah, we should have had time. Not to mention, they were barricading things. Yeah, someone dropped something. Move on. There's no yelling. Maybe it's just that. Maybe it's just furniture they're messing with. 
I hope so, but we should check to make sure. No! I turned to leave and Roswell quickly snatched me by the wrist, making me stop. Wait. What? I agree that we should leave, but we're not done talking. Then talk, I'm begging you. Well, yeah, but we should go make sure everything's fine, shouldn't we? Oh my god, don't have a whole conversation about the idea of whether or not you should check. <laughs> that, de that destroys the immediacy of the interruption, too, and ruins it. <laughs> yes, but wait, just a minute more. Oh my god, don't write like this, I'm begging you. Don't do this. Don't... <laughs> For what? You asked if I knew all this was going to happen when my parents arranged a vacation. I said there was no good answer to that. I just assumed that you didn't know. Oh, Dave, you're stupid. <laughs> yeah, Dave's a dumbass. You're so stupid. He would have said he didn't know this was going to happen if he didn't know this was going to happen. Him saying literally anything else implies that he knew it was going to happen, which is very bad. And you just, you just gave him that. You just like... You did, it's not even the benefit of the doubt. You literally just lied to yourself and just let him get away with admitting to this. That's just it. I did. More accurately, I didn't know, but that's kind of why this is messy. Wait, what? That's just it. I did know. More accurately, I didn't know. But that's kind of why this is messy. What? Could it have happened? Sure. Was it a guarantee? Not at all. What? What? <laughs> We've learned that's exactly the opposite of what Thanatos has told us, which is that this basically is guaranteed to happen. It's happened millions of times. I think... He's trying to say that he didn't understand this yet, but had had the dreams. But if I had recurring dreams of this exact friend group all dying in the mansion we're going to, I wouldn't do that trip. I would go Me to the beach. Too. Like, I would, yeah. That seems like I a would, sign. <laughs> I would. You know what? The th the funny thing about this, the thing that makes this all really difficult to swallow, is just that um, you can watch anime at home. Yeah, they, the the biggest thing is that they really like. They absolutely did not take advantage of this uh, destination. No, they went to the pool sometimes and watched anime extremely infrequently. But for the most part, they seemed to do nothing every day. Like yeah. as far as I could tell, sometimes Dean went to the garden. Sometimes Sal went swimming. Sometimes, but the majority. So it's like sometimes what like. uh Oss read in the conservatory and the rest of the cast seemingly I guess Tyson worked out sometimes Roswell of all people seemed to stare at walls all day like I have no yes. evidence he did anything on this trip most days even back when it was for fun so I don't even no one was going like there wasn't a, there wasn't like group hikes through the woods which you would think would like even be like an excuse to establish the surroundings a bit and be like oh look this look at this mill and stuff like that but like no like they never went through hikes through the woods they never like this destination was wasted the mansion doesn't have yes. cool, any cool activities or attractions the forest no one cared about there wasn't a tj in the group that really wants to go hiking in echoes hills uh they just watched anime but only but even that they did incredibly infrequently so i just this mansion sucked. There was no reason to come here. You could have had this vacation anywhere, and it would have been cheaper, probably, except for the part where like, right. I guess it wasn't. I guess it was free. So what went wrong this time? I honestly don't know. Could have been something Thanatos did, or random variants. We have no way of knowing. Okay, so fuck Roswell, and fuck my previous interpretation, where I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, like he just had weird nightmares about this place, but didn't actually know about the mechanics of any of this yet. Because this last mm -hmm. line he said about. Like the, the specifically the the fact where Dave is being the author, knowing what Roswell means, and is is over interpreting his com his statement in this case, and saying what wrong went wrong this time, and then Roswell's response means that Roswell knew there was multiple timelines where sometimes nothing goes wrong and sometimes everything goes wrong, and he just took that gamble. Yes, that, that, that all that, 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 him just fundamentally not understanding is out the window. 
Unless we ask Thanatos, but all that means is that if he does know, he's the one behind it all, putting us in this mess. A mess of a situation that he needed to get out of. That we need to get out of. I don't know. I don't think. I don't know if you can say Thanatos is behind it all. Y'all had to come here. When Thanatos and I talk, I always have this feeling that he knows more than he's sharing. That he's hiding something deep down for some reason. Yes, obviously. That's the impression I got, too. That he's up to something. I think Thanatos might be up to something. <laughs> it would have been nice if he was trying to avoid us being in this fire, but I guess that's where we're at now. Leave! We just all need to survive it, and we can go home. Yeah, like if you leave. And we need to kill Memphis. There's no safe way home, or any safety, if we get out of this with him still alive. Because? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is a way dumber... I thought he was just gonna be like, oh, he's just gonna... He'll just come, he'll just come for us, because he knows where we live. But this is the, a deeply stupid, like, anime for children sentence. Like, I don't... What is Roswell's yeah. reasoning here? What am I no, reading? No, Roswell is being is trying to be light Yagami Death Note right now. Uh, yeah, like he's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Because he's a bad man, Dave. All bad people either die or work hard for redemption. Do you honestly think someone who's the leader of an organized crime syndicate is going to turn around and decide to be a good guy? I am the one who knocks, Dave! I just... Deeply unhinged paragraph, but also all bad people either die or work hard for redemption is like... One... Utter nonsense. It's just noise. Yeah. It's, it's not... It doesn't even it's match... It's not a thing. It, it doesn't even add, match up with the morality of children's cartoons. Like, the idea they either die or work for redemption. Like, that's not... People can just stay bad. Especially since bad people can also not be Dragon Mafia people. They could just be boring bad people. But also, most importantly, all people either, bad people either die or work for hard for redemption just does not actually support the surrounding point. Yes. Because that's not the, that's not the split of, of outcomes for Memphis. Correct. The split for Memphis is... Memphis either dies or keeps being bad. That's not... <laughs> there's The idea that he works for redemption is not in the topic, and the idea that if he doesn't work for redemption, he's going to magically die because narrative or something also is not the, 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 the dilemma. The other, if, if, if the idea that, that somebody who doesn't work for redemption will just die is some kind of law of the universe, then you wouldn't have to kill him because he'd be safe because he'd apparently it would be taken care of by that factor, despite it never applying to his life so far, and likely never in the future. Like, I just... That sentence means nothing. It's just insane. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. I laughed inwardly, shaking my head. It sure would be nice, huh? We rushed downstairs to see what the commotion was. Seeing, at first, only a pile of furniture by the front door. Everything okay? What happened? Sal came wandering out the dining room, rubbing his head. I went to ask if he was alright, but he put up a hand, shaking his head. Orlando... Uh, Orlando <laughs> is gone. Orlando's gone? Gone how? Where? He jumped through the fucking window. That's a very different kind of crashing noise, honestly. That you they should have been able to tell that. It was accompanied by with a groan, and I looked at Roswell, bewildered at how Sal was acting. Roswell scampered off immediately to check the dining room, leaving me with Sal. Sal? Language? Fuck you, Dave. Sorry. Orlando woke up, knocked me into the wall, and I hit my head pretty hard. Then he smashed through the window, yelling. Is that the slam? I didn't hear any yelling, just the crash. Which crash? 
Well, perhaps less of a yell and more of a distressed wail. <laughs> it's just... Still, he jumped right through the window, shattering the glass. Why do people just keep fucking things up? Yeah. I just don't understand. I also don't know how everyone... I'm confused by everyone having an, a, like, agreed upon, like, rubric of different shrieks and wails, and they will critique them and debate them as if that's the thing worth discussing. I don't know what the fuck those tangents are. But I guess, I guess... Orlando's going now. I guess this is the Superman moment that Ross, that or Thanatos was priming him for. This is his plan. Because when Thanatos says we have nothing to do with wait, he actually means wait for Orlando to do the thing he's priming Orlando to do, and he wants everyone else to sh shut the fuck up and stop doing anything or they'll mess up the timeline. And he said nothing? Nothing between when he woke up looking terrified, wailed, and jumped out the window. He didn't even seem to register that I was next to him. And the others? You two are the first ones to resurface. Hoss and Tyson left to go somewhere. Discord froze for a second, and I just thought that was that you were nope. just holding on that sentence yep. for a second. Just gonna stare into space for a while. <laughs> Hoss and Tyson left to go somewhere, but should be left uh, still inside. Dean was wandering around outside for a bit and had to take the long way around. You're stupid fucker. Stop telling me where other people are for no reason. Let's find <laughs> Orlando. The long way around? Nope, we're gonna have a conversation about this now. Sal pointed over the massive furniture against the back door. Ah, barricaded. It feels strange trapping ourselves inside the house, though. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? What do you mean? The fire that Roswell mentioned. I went to watch over Orlando when Tyson showed up. Uh, but I got pieces of what's about to happen. This is backfilling a necessary level of backfill. We don't need to know the exact steps. I guess he's saying that when Tyson showed up in that last conversation, Sal had left to watch Orlando in his stead, and we needed a play-by-play -play when we could just accept the idea that people told each other stuff during all the stuff that's happening. Oh. I would really like to go home right about now. Do it. Which seems more difficult if we're trapping ourselves inside a building that's going to be set alight. Yeah, now that you mention it, uh, hmm. <laughs> Dave, it's literally the first gut reaction we all have to the idea of, like, why are you barricading the house that we know is going to be on fire and you're trapping yourself inside? If anything, if you want to have a master plan and you want, if you want to delay these folks, you barricade this house and then you leave. And now it's an even more annoying house they have to figure out how to get inside of. But there's no one actually inside, and it just delays them further while you're escaping. But you're not even using it as a distraction. Hell, if you started the fire after barricading it, and their goal is to get what's inside the house, so they have to figure out how to get inside and break the fire, that's a great distraction for you to leave. I'd ask Thanatos, but he's not around anymore. Said he needed to keep a lookout for someone. And if anyone responds, oh, but the Mafia will hunt them down. How how are they more vulnerable in the real world than they are here? Where they have nothing, they have no defenses against the Mafia who is attacking them right now. You can disappear into the world, you can prepare, you can get weapons, you can find people that might help you. There's so many other uh, possibilities out in the world than here. So even the idea that they might follow them home eventually is not an improvement. Memphis? I feel like he was being coy by not saying, so I just let him leave on his own. So, n not Memphis. If I had to guess, it'd be Benson. He's the only one unaccounted for. But he doesn't know. Well, Sal's right. Orlando's nowhere to be seen, just a smashed window. Uh, it 
it took you that long to confirm that. Well, now I had other things I wanted to check. Such as? If there is any sign of anything just wrong. Uh, anything he might be behind, or he might have left behind, or any indication to explain his behavior. Such as visions that this entire house is on fire and we're all gonna die. I thought it was pretty clear from my retelling of events, Roswell. Well, sue me for wanting to see if there were clues. The most I can confirm is that Orlando's probably bleeding. He did jump through a window after all. Though from how he jumped through it, and the amount of splintering in the glass, chances are it's maybe only a few minor cuts. How do you, how are you an expert on this? <laughs> how are, how do you, any of you know anything about windows? Deep enough to draw blood, but probably not all that debilitating or life-threatening for sure. I saw Mythbusters once, and now I'm pretending to be a Reddit expert. Yay? Uh... Beyond that? I assume that someone's gonna try to follow the trail of blood with their superhuman animal furry noses. Well, otherwise, this is a weird setup. I wonder where he'd go. It's not as if there's many safe places around here and he knows his father is out there. Which means whatever he saw was worse than facing his dad. Didn't Thanchel say he was preparing him for something heroic? How was running away heroic or even jumping through a window? I have no idea. Sal, how are you feeling about all of this? Confused and concerned, why? Is there <laughs> anything I can do to say or help? <laughs> it's time to restate our obvious emotional responses to this obviously harsh situation. He thought about it for a few moments before shaking his head. <laughs> I do not believe so. Unless you can perform a miracle, it's now up to fate to decide what happens. Then he wandered away with his head low. Dave, maybe we should try to get some sleep? I don't think I'll be sleeping. Not now that Orlando's missing. Did you want to go looking for him? I don't know what I want anymore. I just know that I have this feeling deep down. What kind of feeling? A bad feeling. A feeling like this world is about to end. You don't have faith? I don't think faith is going to cut it anymore. It never has before. <laughs> I'd kick over the fact that ever anyone was like, I'm going to try to sleep because Memphis is going to come kill us in two hours. And, you know, let's just fast forward through that. Like, let's just, I might have two hours to live and let's skip it. <laughs> Let alone wake up groggy and confused from the losing agency and conscious. I don't, why would you land on the idea of sleeping anyway? Why is anyone taking that suggestion seriously? Much like Sal, I wandered off. My goal was to find a quiet room and wait things out. I hadn't even... I hadn't been given a job outside of finding Thanatos, and even then, I didn't care. Ah, uh, he's gonna do nothing right through to the end. Classic Dave. There was going to be a fire. People were going to be in danger. But I was done. I want it to be over. When I sat down, I closed my eyes and pretend to sleep. Pretend in pe current tense. I knew I wouldn't actually fall asleep, but maybe if I pretended... There it is. <laughs> well enough, it would happen. If I was lucky, maybe things would go over. But it would be over by the time I woke up, too. Oh, he, he wants to sleep through the conclusion of the game. Like, like Bilbo. <laughs> He's going to sleep through the end of The Hobbit. <laughs>
Here we go! 